now we have your first part of your A semifinals between Frank Singer, the number one seed, and Tony Irwin coming all the way from West Virginia. Tony's off to a big lead so far, 6-0, and Frank finally gets himself on the board. Just a bit, and a nice little three ball base by Singer. Frank is probably one of the most unorthodox players you will ever see on the court. As you see, he likes wearing his nice blue volleyball knee pads. He dies probably more than I do, and he's probably twice my age. Nice overhand kill by Frank. Gets himself a nice little run going. Four serve seven. As you can hear, in the mic, we've got the crowd beside us watching a heated A doubles match. They've had a lot of wrong rallies, a lot of good racquetball for this morning. Actually, been a lot of good racquetball all weekend. And only more good racquetball to come the rest of the day as we are here for the Sunday finals. And Tony puts that one away. As you'll notice throughout this match, Tony is more of a forehand. His forehand's his strong suit. In doubles, he always plays forehand. He'll serve a lot to the forehand side. Um, he's really strong. More times than not, he puts up his, uh, he'll put balls away on the forehand side. More prone to lead things up. I thought he had enough room to clear right there. He just held up looking for, thinking he was going to get an avoidable, but I would have called side out. 7-5. Nice get by Frank. Oh, and that ball just didn't come out enough for Tony. Six or seven. said before, another forehand for Tony, puts it away, gets himself back in the box, 7-6. Good serve to the forehand side. 8 serve 6. I want to thank everyone, well, our nice three viewers here with us this morning. On this afternoon, most people should be up, probably a lot of people at church, but we'll be going till about 2, 3 o'clock today, so... Stay with us, tell your friends, tell your family. Anyone who's never watched racquetball, we might not be the pros, but we'll still put on a good show for you. As you see, folks, Tony's running around a lot to set himself up on his forehand side. That one, he had an easy step up and take with his backhand, but 
It's not feeling too confident about it right now. Frank in the box, six serves ten. Good serve. Nice put away there by Tony. Looking good on that forehand side. Ten serve six. Trying to do a little too much with that shot, giving up easy points. Set up off the bat. Tony puts it down. Coffering looking the other way. 11 serves, 8. slid under Frank's racket. Ball serves eight. Nice re-kill there by Tony. It's a pretty good return by Frank, but Tony is ready to step up and just put it away. 13-8. by Singer. Went down to his knees but couldn't get to it. Tony's one point away from finishing game one. 14-8. another life. Big time skip in the back court. 9-14. Nice kill over in the left corner. Point number two. Short serve. Set up out of the corner. And Tony puts it down. There's game one. 15 9. We'll be back in a couple of minutes.
from all the players who can set and like to take time to thank all of the sponsors who helped make this even happen. Uh, American Family Fitness, Roddy Hawk Photography, ADE Solutions, Cannons, Big Paint, Barbecue, Fresca, Diorio, USA Racquetball, Ectolani, Force Power, Colab, and everyone else that's made made this great tournament weekend possible. Again, thank you. Thank you to the viewers. Um, thanks to friends and family. You know, we do this for fun, but also we do this because we like putting on a good show. Um, wouldn't have it any other way. Frank Singer on the board first, one serve zero. Nice shot there by Sammy. First good time, but he might be settling to his backhand. We'll see how this game goes. Zero one. Nice reverse bench right there. Gets himself tied up in this match. 1-1. One, one. Long serve. Just not enough on that ball to make the front wall. Singer back in a box at 1-1. One, one. Serve's not going to do it. Tony was just camping out, waiting for it to come back out to center of court. Puts it away to get himself back in a box. 1-1. One, one. Weak return there. Couldn't make the front. 2-1. Nice V-serve. Sets himself back up in front. Frank gets that ball. Tony comes up and shoots it long. Another setup for Singer. And Frank puts it away. Nice rally. One serves two. Tony's favorite shot. Forehand pinch. 2-2. Two, two. Nice serve. Stayed up just a little bit. Wraps around. It's forehand. Frank tries to pinch it. Tony goes back with a pinch. Long rally looking right here. And Frank puts it away. One of the token rules that you'll hear a lot of instructors say is that if you both players in the front court you never try to re-pinch a pinch. You want to try to shoot that straight, go down the line, cross court, pass him, get him out of the middle of the court. As Tony just did right there, nice down the line. Two serves, two. Tony gets the two bounce. 
stayed up a little too late last night. Another skip. Gets Frank a 4-2 lead here in game two. Nice serve at forehand. Tony gets that up to the ceiling. Back to the ceiling. This might do it. Frank's going to shoot it there. Through all those. On the front court rally. And still up, oh, and Frank just can't get to it. See right there. Frank Singer was stuck up front, even though Tony let the pass up. All Tony did was hit a nice little cross court shot, and it might have been still up, but not enough for Frank to get off the floor and get to it. Good racquetball. Two serves four. But sometimes that's all you need. Three serves four. Serve. Nice round the world shot by Frank. Solid shot. Good patience shown by Tony. Four serves four. Sixers four. Solid Z serve. Frank couldn't handle it. Seven four. Tony making a nice little run here. Five point spread. All right, sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Had to reconnect to the Wi-Fi here, so hopefully that should fix things for now. Um, we have 11 serves, 8 in game 2. Frank Singer is out. Um, we have Nick Taylor and Greg Fox warming up over on court 2, so as soon as they get ready, we will probably switch and bring you the action over there. But for now, good uh, men's A semifinals going on between Frank Singer and Tony Irwin. Um, Frank went on a little run while we got disconnected and got himself the lead. Um, now Tony's trying to work his way back and not let Frank take this to a tiebreaker. Frank's doing a good job keeping the ball alive. Another setup for Tony down the line, and he puts it away. There's 11.
Okay, I'm take his eye off the ball to check to see where Frank was. The small lapse in focus probably caused him to miss the shot, but Singer back in a box. 11 serves 8. Nice serve. Good stealing ball. Frank shoots it. Tony can start to re-kill it. Frank just hesitated a minute. Barely missed the ball. 8-11. close action right there. From my point of view, it looked like Tony got that lot, the one ball that Frank was questioning. Good rally here, and Tony puts it away. 9-11. Frank got looking for a little help from the crowd and he's not getting any love. Everybody agrees. Nine serves 11. Short serve. That ball way up, and Frank puts it away easily. 11 serves none. Good jam serve by Frank. Moves itself up, Tony, with an unusual shot. Gets back in the box. Good down the line pass. The name of the game. If you can hit the down the line in your cross court, you're going to be pretty successful most of the time. Nice get by Tony. And a typical three wall base by Frank. Nice shot. Not as easy as it looks. It's hard to hit it accurate and keep it low so it doesn't stay up. Once you get it to the higher levels, a lot of people are quick enough to go get that ball. Set up off the back wall and nicely put away. Nobody's looking to try to take momentum. A little back and forth action. Good get off the serve, set up off the back, and down the line. The best shot in the game. Might not be the most exciting, but it's the most effective. Another short serve. Serve to the backhand, up to the ceiling, it's coming off. Oh, tough to stay on that ball when it's right on the wall. 11 serves 10. Nice Nick Law comes off the back, Tony leaves it up. Frank hits it right back up the middle. Tony steps up, puts it away. 10-11. Sir <coughs> left it up but had a nice angle on it. All tied up, 11 11. Short serve. Nice pinch there by Tony. Gives himself, I believe, his first lead of the game. Actually, no, second lead of the game. 12-11, good serve, good get. Just missed it. Side out, 11 serves 12. Get by 
Tony and Frank misses an easy setup in the middle. Tony back in the box, 12-11. Set up off the back. Ooh, couldn't get enough air under that one. Frank back in the box. It's been a nice back and forth game. Nobody's really running away with it. Some good racquetball being played. The serve comes out. Tony lays it way up. Frank's forced to go to the ceiling. Should be nice, easy cross court. And Tony misses it. Those that seem like they're easy, all it takes is a little lack in focus and it's easy to miss. Frank misses that one, gives, him, gives Tony another opportunity, we're at 12-12. Ceiling. Nice serve by Tony. Nice return by Frank. Oh, Tony leaves it way up. Frank loses it up and Tony nicely puts it down the line. Good hands there. 13-12. Believe it or not, this is the first time that Frank has intentionally stopped the match to do his little chit-chat and banter routine. Frank likes to talk on the court, but it's all in good fun. Really nice guy on and off the court. He's fair. Nice get by Tony. Little p diving pinch. We'll find out if I think that might have been the match, ladies and gentlemen. We'll find out. That was the match. Tony Irwin wins that one. I was being a little generous to Frank, but Tony pulled that match out. Advances to the finals with a 15-8, 15-11 win. And give me just a second. I'm going to stop the stream, reset the camera, and we'll give you guys the first open semifinals between Nick Taylor and Greg Fox. So stay tuned. Give me about a minute or two, and we'll be back in just a minute.